all right so welcome back to my channel you guys it is finally 2019 and i'm so happy and ready to be back to filming it's been like a week a week and a half since i filmed and i've just i've been really lazy but i am back with a review on the new next can stop one stop concealer and i did get it in the shade c16 mahogany and i know a lot of people were like chi chi like what is taking you so long to review this and it's honestly because there were so many options online i didn't know what shade would fit me um so when i finally came in stores i went in the store actually yesterday and it has so many different options which is a good problem to have and I was swatching there just swatching taking my time and I finally figured out the shade C16 so hopefully it's not too light for my skin um, but I do think it'll be perfect so if you guys want to go ahead and see how I feel about this because I'm so excited to go ahead and try it out then go ahead and keep on watching so before I go ahead and start I like to read the claims of what it says it'll do on the skin and it was $8.49 which is not a bad price um, $8.49 is actually pretty cheap because I thought it would be like $10 or something like that um but it claims to be a lightweight liquid that won't transfer and has three major complexion must covered whatever that means i don't know what that means it also claims to be a blendable matte formula to camouflage your imperfections brighten up your face and contour those features to perfection um it also says that it's very full coverage which i'm gonna go ahead and test that because i love a very full coverage concealer and it also has a finish that lasts up to 24 hours so that's all i have to say on here i'm um, nothing too crazy um but one thing i do want to mention is i love their packaging i just love how sleek and easy it is very easy to work with and when you open it up this is what the wand looks like it has a very nice flat edge um i think it has a lot of product on there also so that's a good thing so i'm just dipping once into the concealer and before i put it on my face i do want to say one thing i did swatch it on the back of my hand in the store and i noticed that it sets pretty pretty fast so usually what i do with my concealer is i go ahead and highlight my face and then i blend it out but i'm so scared that it will dry up on me and be like really matte so i'm gonna do a section by section first okay i'm just gonna put a little bit right here and it's going on very creamy so far, which is a good thing. And then I'm just gonna blend it out because I'm really scared that it's gonna dry up on me. Then using my good old beauty blender, I'm just gonna pounce it into my skin. And so far, I am loving the way it's blending on my skin. Like, it blended just right in. And it's not as matte as I thought it would be. Because I was scared that it was going to be too dry for my under eyes. But this blended out really, really nicely. Just going to add some more in the inner corners of my eyes. I could probably go a shade down because this is a little bit, a little bit too dark than what I normally go for. And I will say if you do have oily skin, this concealer is probably perfect for you because the way it sets on the skin, it just fits like really nicely for people who have oily skin because y'all know I'm an oily skin girl. Um, but I love the way it is setting on my skin. Like it just blends really, really well. So looking at my skin, y'all can definitely tell this concealer is very full coverage. Like I cover up all my dark circles. I don't even see them anymore. And you don't need a lot of product with this concealer because a little bit does go a long way. So what I'm going to do is finish up the rest of my face with the concealer. And I do think it gives you a little bit of time like to blend it out because at first I just thought it was going to be too like dry on the skin, but it gives you a little bit of time. Now I'm grabbing a mirror just to see what it looks like up close on the face and so far everything's looking really really good so far so I'm really impressed with NYX like they've been killing it this year um but to set my face I'm using my Milani translucent banana powder I have to go ahead and bust this out because I need to start using it again because I really do love it and I'm not baking today surprisingly I'm not baking I'm just gonna set my face really simple really easy like not too much work all right let me just blend out my creases and then i'll set it so i'm just pressing it into my skin and this is really off topic but i do want to mention there's so many concealers so many scented powders coming out this year like i don't think i'm ready because the fenty beauty concealer is coming out the milani concealer is coming out um next has a setting powder like so many things you guys and i know y'all want me to review it so it's definitely coming soon um, but I'm just so excited, like so much makeup. Mm -hmm. 
Now I know I'm looking a little bit ashy, which is totally fine because I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face off camera. Now I'm about to tell you guys my final thoughts on this concealer. So I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so I'm back on my final thoughts on the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer and I mean, we already knew it was gonna be good. But if I'm really honest with you guys, when I first heard about it, I wasn't that excited because I just felt like it was gonna be too matte. I just thought it was gonna be very drying on the skin, but this is a very nice, soft matte concealer. It blends out so well on the skin. And one thing I do wanna mention, when I was doing my makeup up close, I noticed that I didn't have any creases underneath my eyes, and usually that doesn't happen when I set my face. Like if I bake my face, I never get any creases, but when I just set it with powder, I usually have creases underneath there, and it didn't happen this time. So I'm guessing it's because of the concealer, because I usually have creases but I'm so happy that NYX came out with this idea because I think it's so cool because their NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation was a really popular you know foundation last year so coming out with concealer is just such a good concept and they have so many shades to pick from like I'm just so amazed when it comes to a drugstore because they're killing it like they're really killing it so if you haven't tried this out I do recommend it and it's a bomb concealer I'm gonna be using it every single day so yeah <laughs> um but if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to like subscribe on your way out i love you guys so much let me know down below what else you have to see on my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one